All right, here we go. Ready? He's oh. <coughs> he Bowman. He likes Bowman. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We have a winner. Kitty likes Bowman. So, I actually have a few of these Bowman Chrome cards. I've never actually opened a box of this, though. So these are all ones I just purchased. So there are two numbered parallels. You have this, which is uh, a golden anniversary card. Then you have the next level of serial numbered parallel, which is the golden anniversary refractor. The normal golden anniversary cards like the Bowman golden anniversary cards numbered to 50. Right. Now the golden anniversary refractors are numbered to five. Oh, so this is a good card. Yeah, I mean, it's just a really bad player. Exactly. Ah, same thing. It sucks when that happens. With this Fernando Tati card. Also number to five. Now, incidental note. I have suspicions these stamps may be fake. Um, as with most 90s sets that are serial numbered, you'll find unserial numbered copies floating around. Uh, these are copies that were backdoored from the factory by employees. Um, either cut factory cut or uh, backdoor to sheets that were then hand cut uh, by people later. Um, most of these you'll find do not have stamps on them, but some unscrupulous sellers have stamped them to try and pass them off as the real thing. Anyway, let's open this box, shall we? With these lights. Let's, <coughs> let's uh, see if we can plug anything as good as Fernando Tatis. Hey, I'll be happy with just a gold anniversary card. The top balls. You standing out of trouble? I am. No idea. Oh. You can't top. do too much damage. He's too small. Right. Where did I put that? It just gets lost. Okay. Slice this. Open. Make the incision. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some nail into it. Yeah, you gotta take your time with these things. Been sealed for almost 20 years. And now you gotta take more than a few seconds to unseal it. It makes me feel old. I bet it makes Scott Rowland feel even older. I mean, Paul Tamirka. Why did I say Scott Rowland? Mm. That's weird. Maybe I think tumor. all white people look alike. That's true, they do. We do, we do. <clears throat> Again. I mean, honestly, how many games do you even play for the Rats? I don't know. He's retired now. This box is so old. <laughs> All right, so these are four cards a pack. They're very skinny, hence why the box is very thin. As, four. Uh, as David pointed out. He's attacking that thing. I should be doing that. Okay. There's only four? Four cards per pack. Uh, we've got Bowman Internationals coming in at 1 and 4. Bowman Chrome Refractors at 1 and 12, those are not numbered. Bowman Chrome International Refractors, 1 and 24. Bowman Golden Anniversary, those are the ones numbered to 50, 1 and 133. Bowman, Bowman Golden Anniversary Refractor, those are the ones numbered to 5, 1 and 1022. Bowman Chrome Reprint, 1 and 12. Bowman Chrome Refractor Reprint, 1 and 36. All right. <clears throat> Unlike Bowman, no autographs. You'll notice. None? No. But you do have, you know, higher quality stock and the uh, anniversary refractor number five to chase. Are they sticky? No, they're not too bad. 
They're all kind of sticky. Oh, they're just normal sticky. Chrome cards always stick. Jose Valentin. Kelso. Kelso? Uh, <laughs> and Klaus Kelch. Oh, yeah. Did I say Kelso? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> He's my favorite character in that team, this show. Yeah. Do you not think he was a good baseball player, though? Mm-mm. Alright. On Drew. Andrew Jones. Ray Ordonez. Dude, you know Ray Ordonez? He's Cuban, and mm -hmm. uh, his team went to play at uh, some tournament in Florida. And they were in the airport, and he told one of his teammates, he says, yeah, I gotta go take a piss. And he never came back. <laughs> <laughs> he was so happy to escape Cuba. And that's how he became an American. And then he was living in New York as a Met. Make the World Series. Yeah. American dream, really. Yeah. Fuck Fidel. Oh. Henry Rodriguez. Ralph Lamard. And our favorite, Nelson Lara. Him again? <clears throat> well, remember, this is the same exact set. So all the cards are the same. They're yeah, just chromium. I'm just I remember that signature. So Nelson so, Lara's gorgeous penmanship is preserved. So valuable. So precious. <laughs> In and all honesty, he's probably just not very used to writing. I don't know. Derek Jeter. Tobinzy. Jeter Jeter. Moreland Anderson. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> Octavia Dotel has a major league record. Most teams played for. Hmm. That's don't an remember obscure how many. record. I think it's like 16 or 17. <clears throat> Dude, one year he played for like five teams. He's a Dodger even. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Actually, now I want to look it up, but I know for sure he has a distinction. So I am noticing a pattern. It seems to be two veterans and then two rookies on the bottom. Oh, and look, we've got our we've got an international. The collier is not international. No, but see how it's uh, the background is like a. You know, oh. Map. Oh. <clears throat> hey, Blue Jays can say go. I was. I think that was about the time he. Uh, had a ball bounce off his head over the <laughs> wall of his home run. <laughs> uh, that was a good. That was a good time to be able to take that. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's see. Activio Eduardo Rodriguez. Played for 13 Major League teams, more than any other player in Major League history. Hmm. Oh, no, this is interesting. The teams for five years. <clears throat> in this pack, we got three rookies, and two of them were Kevin Burford. Kevin Buford? Oh, he was gonna. He was supposed to be so. Or, oh no, wait. That that was Kevin Young. Yeah, this is Kevin. This. Give me some. In fact, yeah. So far, we've only pulled an international card. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Hideo Nomo is a dirty, dirty Met. Mm. Cal Ripken. You know, I think it is. Who was the last there? It was Steve LeMay's name. 
course. You know him. Steve LeMay is the man. Yeah, that I said. I'm sure that rings a bell. Alright. Oh, this other Kevin Burford was an international version. I didn't even notice that. <clears throat> well, that's good, I suppose. God damn it. Ah, there we go. I'm allowed to cuss when you're filming, right? Really? Kids don't watch this shit. Don't do that. Well, I didn't open it well, so I deserve the curse. There we go. Come on. Ugh. Um, Butch Husky. Great baseball name. Chris Rietzma. the corners. David Segui. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Just don't maul them, please. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I can't. I don't have nails. And Chris Benson. You shouldn't be using your nails. Dude, I hate this. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I'll get you. I'll get you. Dude, they're like stuck. Yeah, you gotta... Alright. John Valentine. <laughs> Uh. Oh, there's a refractor. Chuck Knobloch. Very nice. All nice and refractory. Yeah, Bowman doesn't have refractors either. He could do everything but throw to first base. Jimmy Anderson. But he looks happy for a dude who's about to have a very bad career. <laughs> And Al Martin. I kind of liked him. I don't really remember why. I think he was just very consistent, and I respected that. Come on. Dean Palmer. Uh, Francisco Cordova. Joe De... Uh, whatever, who gives a fuck. <laughs> and this little Mazzini guy. Hi. <clears throat> Seriously, though, I don't want to have to edit out any more cursing. You have to edit it out. Yeah, so stop. <laughs> Wade Boggs. You've heard the Air story about Wade Boggs. About how you once drank. About his beer guzzling. About how you once drank, what was it? 120 beers on flight from. <laughs> Boston to uh, Los Angeles. Tony Bridges. Okay. See, the key is you get it sort of open like this. Oh. Hmm, this is a different card back. Mariana Rivera, beautiful mm. signature. <laughs> Javier Vasquez. I think he finished with like the exact same amount of wins as losses. Masato Yoshi. He sucked. And a prime prospect. And a beef card. 
And this Man. is actually part of the base set. This is not an insert card. Very he interesting. could be great. He could win Rookie of the Year <laughs> and go on to be incredible. Why not? So you just sort of get it open and see how that gap forms there? No. My finger's blocking it. See? Mm hmm. And you just separately, you just pull. I have my way better. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look, it's a reprint. <clears throat> Multi. Alright. Randy J. <laughs> Andy Johansson. Fight on. Russ Brennan. Russ Brannion. Ooh, refractor. Whoa, look how young he was. John Smoltz. That's cool. What are the odds on this? Thelman uh, Chrome Refractor. Reprint one in thirty six. So there are twenty four packs in this box. So not bad. One in every box and a half. That's cool. Yeah, I would like them. I like that card. Alright. It's not always so easy. Right, right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't make time here. Paul Molitor. Paul Molitor? The Hall of Famer? No, Paul Molitor. God, he must have been way at the end of his career. 98. Is he a twin in that? He is a twin. Yeah. Now he's their manager. Paul Park. And International. Did he peep on the cards? He thinks so good. He's wrong. Harry Bonds. Oh. Probably uh, having just swung at a uh, and missed. A steroid fueled home run. Javi Duffes. Like Javi. Darnell McDonald. Who? Darnell McDonald. And Cesar King. <clears throat> I have no recollection of Cesar King. Neither do I. But I'm sure someone does. I wonder who they are. Shields. Okay, so see the way to separate them, right? You just hide, you barely have to touch them. And you just sort of lightly pull them apart. You don't need nails or anything, you just very. Nah, you have to do it like when. And then if this doesn't work, if they're too flush here, you find just uneven edges. And then you just. Pull it apart. No, see what see you have how to I do. Barely did anything. Is what your third grade teacher did when she was passing out sheets. How she would lick her finger. <laughs> she would go, here you go, here you go. Or like, like the lady disgusting. at the checkout line with your change. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start this one for you. This will be. <clears throat> well, why don't you just slightly open all of the ones I have to open? That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna try this one. We also have to work on separating, separating the cards from one another without damaging them. How many are left? You might as well just steal them. Okay. All right. Take it from here. Go for it. I believe in you. Ugh. In my ability to pull something good. Yes. Yeah, I noticed them. See a refractor. Do you? Now wait a minute. We already pulled a refractor. Oh, did we get two? Let's see. Derek Bell. What is it? It's a Yankee. It's the. Oh, it's an international refractor of Chuck Knobloch, who 
We also got a regular refractor out. Look at that. The international refractor and the regular check my block refractor. Nice. That's some either bad collation or uh, a very strange coincidence. Maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> Derek Bell, by the way, you should look up his mug shots. They're the best part about up. car. We looked it up during uh, 1998 Bowman. They're the best part of Derek Bell. Oh. But well, maybe he has a chrome mug shot. Uh, <laughs> Carlos Delgado. Brian Meadows. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. What? What's special about him? You take this pack. Yeah. I think he's gonna just open this pack. <laughs> You're like a, you're like a, you're still, you're still just a baby. You know, you haven't opened enough packs yet. Oh, it's Shamble Park. To, I have to spoon feed you. There you go. That's how you separate them, just very gently. Dirk Lee. Yeah, the top's really uneven. See that? Just sort of gently. Yep, there you go. There you go. Kevin Moore. That's how you do it. Elvin. Something. Mm -hmm. I have no idea who this guy on the back is. Ooh, it's number. Oh, holy crap! Hold on. Oh. Pause off. Pause off. Hey, <laughs> that's mine. Dude, that's crazy. It is. It is your pull. <laughs> I did start. Oh wait, no, I did start the pack though. So whose pull is it? Nice. Yeah, I opened it. We'll 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 split the we'll split the credit fifty fifty. That's crazy. That's a one in uh, one thousand packs right there. Oh, well, who is he? I don't know. Let's we got we got to uh, we got to get to him. And now, you remember how I was saying how I wasn't sure whether these were sheet cut or not? We can comp we have one. We now have an exemplar that we know is real, and we can compare the serial numbers. There you go. What? That's uh. That's perfect. <laughs> All right, let's get. We got to get through these these scrubs though. On top, we got yeah, Brian, like Brian Giles. Giles. Now, interestingly, the, this one's not stuck. Maybe because it's a refractor. I don't remember if the other refractors were stuck. But it's just sort of sitting there on the bottom. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a beaut. Mike, Mike Jerzembeck. Now. Just so you know, had this been Ken Griffey Jr., you know how much that card would go for? Mm -mm. I believe one sold for about ten grand. <laughs> Mike Jerzenbeck, mm. not so much, but oh. still, but still, very it's, cool. It's very. Now let's take a look at the serial numbering. Three out of five, and now let's take a look at uh, Fernando Tati. Nope, it's not the same. Now are these the same series? Because now, see, these are series two Bowman Chrome. Sometimes there is differences in the stamping between series. Um, so let's see, where does it say the series on it? Um, you know, it doesn't say. But oh, this is this would be series one. I still don't think it's legit because it's so different. No. And, it, like, it's... I think these are bogus. Whatever. But now we, now have we a got a real one. one. And it's Mike Gerbinger. And my uh, camera won't focus on it for some reason. Hey. Hey! Get his yeah, good side. There we go. So we got the fake one. Bought off eBay. And you can see the stamping, they're kind of small. And uh, you can't really tell because it probably won't focus when it's this close out. It sort of will. But um, the stamping's also very sloppy, sort of sloppy. Whereas this one's perfect. Very clean. Oh, let's get it. Focus here. There we go. Nice and clean. And taller, larger. I wonder if you even made it to the majors. Well, he's wearing a Yankees uniform. 
You know, all the so, Yankees affiliates actually were. He's Yankees got that form, but I do notice he appears to be just against like a. Uh, this is in some photo studio. Probably in his hometown. He's probably not even in New York for this. Not even on a baseball field. That's Very probably nice. just his student ID. Very nice bar shop. Bravissimo. We're in the money. That was a uh, that was a nice pull, and you know, even though it's like whatever, I mean, I only paid I think th thirty bucks with shipping for this box, so that'll uh, we recoup our investment on this one. And any time you can recoup your investment on a on a box of cards from the nineties, that's it's a good day. Who in the hell is gonna you buy just that? Break even. Who's gonna remember Mike Jerzen? <laughs> Um, say, hey, the, I, gotta... I don't know if you noticed, I bought a Jose Cruz Jr. and Fernando Tati, and they're fake. They're not even legit. So, you know. <laughs> well, that's worth questioning, <laughs> too. <laughs> oh, man. Why would anybody want a Jose Cruz card? He suck. And yet here I am, owner of said Jose Cruz card. Having paid... As much as I paid for this box, but I think that I mean when I say fake, by the way, let me clarify, it's real, but it's it was never it was never it didn't come out of a pack. It was you know on a sheet. Someone cut it up and stamped five, you know, and they they didn't even bother like having other numbers. They're probably all stamped five of five, or most of them are. I don't know. That's total speculation, actually. Hmm. Forget I said that. Well, the box is all going to be downhill from here. We're not going to pull on anything. This was an amazing box. I mean, we, we got John Smoltz, uh, Reprint Refractor, which is, you know, so we beat the odds on that. And then we got, I mean, that's one in a thousand. That, uh, what is it? One, crazy. one in one thousand... 22. What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. And a Nomar Garcia par Prime pos Prospect. So That's right. a cool they're like, card. They're like embossed in a really cool way. The light hits them. It's neat to have. Later, Nomar would become a, a very average color announcer. Yeah. Very mediocre. <laughs> Someone seems to be uh, listening to their car radio outside or my window. It's always nice. Yeah. Ah, oh, Kenny Rogers. I won't, he, I won't make uh, the same joke I made last time. No. Well, you know, he threw a perfect game, so you can't always make fun of Kenny Rogers. He's my favorite Kenny Rogers. This. What is going on? Another refractor? Christian Guzman. Wait a minute, what are the odds on refractors? They're 1 in 12. You're only supposed to get 2. How many have we gotten? Is this our second one? Oh, yeah, because our other one was an international one. Well, there you go. Here's our other refractor. Yeah. Well, what a box. Great box. Sorry you have to edit out my cussing. <laughs> God damn it, Porsche. <laughs> All right. Maybe <clears throat> better. This is a cool card, no matter how you slice it. Yeah, I think his last name might be a swear word. And look at his, look at his beautiful signature. It is nice. He ri probably really thought he was going to have a great career. It looks great. He practiced life. that signature a lot. He probably, you know... <clears throat> This is the first time someone's spoken his name in years. We're gonna have years. to wipe this down with a microfiber cloth when I'm, when I'm through handling it. Getting my grease all over it. Mike Jersen Burke, the jerk. Alright. 
Well, that's the